We are the first botanical garden in Laos, just two kilometers from Luang Prabang on the Mekong. We are trying to train the local villagers like uh, women. It's good for the uh, conservation also because they don't go back to the hunting at the forest. Now we are boy, boiling the coconut bark. Hello, I am Sid. I started working here at Patatke more than 10 years ago as a gardener. And now I am the general manager. Our main goal is to research the flora of Laos and conserve its biodiversity. In this time of global warming, that's crucial work because only 35% of the Lao flora has been identified so far. So there is still a lot of work to do. In this video, we will talk especially what is involved to work on tree conservation. We go to the forest to survey tree populations, identify different and new species, and collect their seeds for propagation in our nurseries. After two to three years, when they have grown uh, strong enough, we plant them in our garden or exchange with other gardens, what's called ex situ conservation. However, most go back to their natural habitat to reinforce existing populations, and that's what we call in situ conservation. At Patarke, we have over 1,500 plant species in our different themed gardens and nurseries. In our limestone habitat, bamboo garden, orchid nursery, ethnobotany is our special focus. Plant used in everyday life for medicine, handicraft, to treat sick elephants or plants that have symbolic functions in Buddhism and for the spirits of these lands. My name is Vail, the database and uh, nursery manager at Patatke Botanical Garden in Laos. So when we come back from the field work, there is a lot to do. First, we, we uh, sort and dry the, the specimen for the herbalium for identification. We always collect three samples, one for us, uh, conserved with uh, our partner, Queen Silicate Botanical Garden in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Because we don't have a good air condition building to keep them in good condition. And one set uh, for the uh, National Herbarium of Laos and one set for the, our partner, uh, which, uh, whom we call it. Uh, for, for this, uh, for, for this uh, sample, uh, Dr. Uh, Joe E. Stick from ACTG, the Fola of Laos, uh, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Hello, my name is Sang Thong Sudinapu. I'm the head gardener of the Patatke. Now uh, I'm in charge of the permaculture and insect food farming. So in 2019, we start our 1.5 hectare for the permaculture farming. So it is a uh, Good size system to help the small villagers and or small family, and it is good and can help the like uh, conservation and the help the to the stop the flap and burn the forest. So in uh, our permaculture farm, we uh, have started doing the insect food farming here. Also now we are go to inside to look at the insect food. So in Laos, in many uh, villages, have still a lot of the young children. They need the protein and nutrient. The kickers they uh, would like to eat to provide to the supplement. They they hunt from the uh, forest. That's bad for the biodiversity. 
Now we have the training like uh, we are try to train the local villager like uh, women and uh, we try to explain or teach them how to easily to beating cricket at their home. This uh, program uh, can help the biodiversity because uh, they don't go to uh, forest or hunt the insect in the forest and they burn the forest because they know how to uh, farming, how to building the cricket or insect food here. And this uh, course is uh, used the low price for the starting the farming. Hello, I'm Kampat Tongjan the garden designer at Pataka. We concentrate on the flora of Laos with over 1,500 different plant species. And for example, a limestone habitat with the biodiversity of local plants of Luang Prabang. Uh, but our main focus at the garden is ethnobotany, uh, plants used for the medicine handicraft in every daylight. Uh, we have installed a permaculture farm uh, to promote sustainable organic farming with the cricket farming where we give a trainings to our local communities to help preserve local biodiversity. Uh, certainly, I'm studying master degree of environmental science at Tbilisi University in Hankali. After graduation, I'm looking forward to be back at Padalke to share what I learned here with my colleagues, uh, with sisters, and the students from our trainings program. Hello, I'm Nora Abdul Karim. I've worked for the Singapore Botanic Gardens for the past 30 years. From my experience, I know that botanic gardens cannot work alone and in silos. We have to form alliances and partnership in order to get to pull together our skills, expertise, and funds to better able to preserve and conserve the plant species that is fast diminishing. Thank you.